in a forest an hour's drive north of Atlanta, an unusual museum has taken root. Yes, old car city. Old car city, USA. What do you think looking around this place? I think it's a 34 acre piece of art. 34 acre piece of art. Yeah. It also happens to be something else, a junkyard. Dean Lewis is the owner and one could say the curator of Old Car City USA in White, Georgia. I don't think anyone else has uh, 4,200 old American cars, 1972 and older. And if they do, no one keeps them in a garage quite like this. Detroit may have designed these rides, but Mother Nature has done all the detailing. Some cars have grown right up with the trees. Others have become two-ton flower pots. This wild ride started in 1931, when Dean Lewis's parents bought a plot of land and opened a general store. No electricity, no paved roads. Gas was 19 cents a gallon, apples one cents each. Later, they bought an old junk car or two, sold parts, made another dollar in Depression time. Several years later, I was born, and I was born in a junkyard. When you were a kid, you played around in all the junk cars? Oh, I've drove them a million miles, never move an inch. After high school, Dean spent a few years saving up money working as a truck terminal manager. And then one by one, he started picking up used cars, more than 4,000, and hauling them home so his parents could sell off their parts. For almost five decades, the Lewis family had the best car parts business around. But as many of their cars rusted and rotted and began to merge with the landscape, the Dean had an epiphany. You had a vision of this place going from junkyard to museum? Over 30 years ago, I told my son, daughter, Jeff and Tracy, that this place would probably turn into the show place one day rather than the sales place. And it, and it has. Now, hundreds of visitors a year pay $15 25 if they want to bring a camera, just to take in that strange organic harmony of rust and roots. I live in Detroit, and Detroit is the Motor City, and I thought, what a great idea to come down and see what the cars look like in the 1950s. Melody Andrews is one of dozens of photographers who travel here every week from as far away as Thailand and Sweden. This is the absolute best place I have ever been to shoot. There's so much here to do, to see, to learn, and to smell. You can smell the oldness of the cars. There's history here. I would imagine every car has a story. This one in particular? This one in particular because my dad in 1965 bought this car from my wife right after we got married. And she drove it for years, and that's been here for 40 years. I saved it like I've saved every car I've ever had, never traded anything in. All of the cars you've ever had are Almost in this everyone, junkyard? Almost yeah, yeah. Do you have a problem with throwing things away, Dean? No, yeah. No, I don't throw anything away. While the cars are the stars here, you'll also find a lot of Dean Lewis and his unique sense of humor along the six miles of trails. Like wind chimes made of hubcaps and tailpipes. And Dean's best friends? They're also a part of this place, like his childhood buddy, Fast Eddie, who wrote a theme song for him called the Old Car City Blues. Six miles of trail, full of history. Of the thousands of cars here, Dean's restored about a half dozen. He says all the cars are technically for sale for the right price, but really, it's hard to imagine he'd let any of them drive off. What do you say to people who say you're letting history rot away? Well, they're getting another life, you know, and uh, they'll be remembered by the pictures. So he's preserving them in a living auto show for the ages. And if you ever decide to stop by, don't worry, there's plenty of parking.